The MCO Mark II is a compact and highly versatile multi-synth voice and VCO module inspired by 90s and early 2000s digital synthesizers. It offers a broad collection of fun and exciting synth voice programs with extensive, fully customizable parameters. Spanning all voices is a chord setting, built-in envelope generator and VCA, plus freely assignable modulation from both external CV inputs and three onboard LFOs. The MCO provides a wide range of musical sounds in a convenient and compact 6HP form factor with an easy to use, highly visual user interface. Let's take a look at its features using the DigiWave Wavetable voice to demonstrate. Choosing a synth voice from the main screen will immediately make it active and display its parameters. Global parameters are indicated by a small globe icon next to their name. Let's adjust the global pitch, which consists of three stacked parameters for octave, key and sense. Clicking the encoder after each adjustment advances through the stacked parameters. We can exit the stack at any time by pressing the back button or by moving through all of its parameters. Immediately adjacent to the pitch setting is a four voice chord selection. Let's briefly go through the list of available chords. Following the standard chord shapes are four levels of unison detune. There are also four user chord slots for custom chord shapes directly editable by holding the encoder. Stacked with the chord setting is an invert parameter for selecting the inversion of the selected chord. Let's patch a pitch sequence from the PAM to the volt per octave input of the MCO. Any chord selected will be transposed by incoming pitch CV. Of course, the pitch settings combine with the volt per octave input to set the frequency of the voice. Each voice program on the MCO includes a unique selection of sound shaping parameters to explore and adjust, resulting in a wide range of sounds. The highly visual UI is designed to make navigating and identifying its many settings quick and easy. Outputs A and B function as either a stereo widened pair or produce different tones depending on the voice program. Here the DigiWave voice uses Out B as an octave down sub oscillator with selectable waveform. At the top of the module is an external input designed to accept audio rate signals for things like sync, FM, ring mod and external processing. In a similar manner to the outputs, it functions differently depending on the selected voice program. The DigiWave includes a page for selecting its function. Here it is set for hard sync with another oscillator. Let's change it to FM to frequency modulate the voice. Finally, a unique multifunction trig input allows the MCO to function as a self-contained synth voice. By default, it is set to trigger the module's internal VCA envelope. Once patched, the VCA stops droning and the built-in envelope is triggered. Moving forward one page, we can now see stacked attack and decay settings for the built-in envelope.
Let's return to the trig in page and change it to gate. The input now responds to gate width with the internal envelope gaining a sustain and release stage. Moving to Pamela's Pro Workout, let's adjust the gate width to hear the envelope respond. Keep in mind, gate mode works best when controlling the MCO with keyboards or sequencers like the ASQ-1. Following the two envelope options, the next trig input setting is for level. Here the trig input becomes a dedicated CV input for the MCO's onboard digital VCA. Let's repatch the trigger sequence to the pip slope and take its envelope out to the MCO's trigger input. We now have similar synth voice functionality but have moved the envelope outside of the MCO. Finally, the trig input can be set to CV when using the MCO more traditionally with a dedicated external envelope and VCA. Continuing with tradition, let's also repatch the output through a low pass filter. We'll continue to shape the voice by selecting a more harmonically rich wave and adding motion by modulating the filter. We'll also mix in some delay from the MFX and drums from the squid. On any parameter screen, scrolling left past the lowest value immediately assigns modulation from one of the built-in CV inputs or internal modulation sources. Here we can see the trig input appear as an additional CV corresponding to its setting on the trig page. Let's select CV1 and patch a random voltage from PAM. The incoming CV is displayed across the bar graph along the bottom of the screen. Following the same process, scrolling left beyond the CV assignment allows us to select one of the three built-in LFOs as a modulation source. Selecting any modulation assignment and holding the encoder for just over a second displays built-in digital attenuation and offset pages, unique to each assignment. This allows us to scale the range of the external CV or built-in LFOs specifically for each parameter. To make adjustments to the built-in LFOs, we can enter the global settings from the voice menu. Here we can find rate, shape and mode settings for each of the three global LFOs. Once a favourite setting has been dialed in, it's easy to save for future recall in any of the 32 user preset slots. 
To do so, we'll scroll past the factory presets and create a new user preset. Let's give our preset a unique name and press N to save. The MCO is a highly versatile sound source, capable of anything from wavetable chords to additive plucks, thick super saws and detuned VA sounds to rich spectral vocoder processing, kick drums and much more. Its modern, compact yet flexible design makes it a great solution for adding rich musical sounds to small systems or live performance setups. For sound demos of the other available synth voice programs, please see our other videos linked in the description below. The MCO Mark II is available now and shipping from your favourite ALM stockist. For more information on the MCO and the rest of the ALM product line, please visit busycircuits.com.